spark. What is the fuel cells and hydrogen joint undertaking exactly and how are you helping to lead the hydrogen revolution? Well, the fuel cells and hydrogen joint undertaking is a public-private partnership. We're working together with uh, the industry, with the research, the academia, but also with the European Commission in terms of the transport energy and the um, research directorates. And together we are managing uh, 263 projects so far for 2 billion euro. Um, and now we are looking to the future and there we really need to scale up. We need to scale up and for doing that we were mainly focusing on manufacturing technologies, but also we need to look into heavy duty. So we have to look in, for example, trucks, trains, aviation. It's a very new area and we know that hydrogen has a potential there, so we need to explore that. Fuel cells, hydrogen technology, is this the answer to cleaner air in our cities? Absolutely, because first of all, this technology does not emit any emissions, only water comes out. And so this technology can be used in transport, as I already explained, but also it helps to heat up your houses. The industries are using today already a lot of hydrogen, and that hydrogen today, unfortunately, is still uh, from fossil fuel base, from gas. But in the future, we are actually we are now working on it to green uh, that hydrogen. And thanks to the innovations that we have done in the electrolysis, I mean, we have 31 projects funded for more or less 114 million euro. We have drive down the cost enormously. And at the same time, we increase the capacity from kilowatt to megawatt scale now. So we will be able in very near uh, future to produce green hydrogen at the same cost of today, fossil fuel based hydrogen. What's being done to scale things up, to build the necessary infrastructure so hydrogen can become a reality? During the last 12 years, we really have been developing this technology. And now since uh, two, three years, we have been demonstrating in the streets, in the field, that this technology works. So the next step now is logically we have to scale it up. And what we will see is in the next five years, we will see more of this uh, demonstration projects come in, bigger demonstrations, and we really see that mass production will start from 2025 onwards. And at the same time also we will have to start building our infrastructure for a big distribution of hydrogens, like we can use the natural gas pipelines uh, for uh, transporting hydrogen. So that will have to be transformed and transformed, and you will see that in the next 10 years this will happen. But by 2030, I'm sure we will be in another world and hydrogen will be a big part of that.